Hello, everyone. It's uh, Dr. C here for uh, today's COVID-19 update. I uh, just wanted to let you know that Governor Holcomb did make some changes to phase three introduction to uh, the community, uh, but it did not impact schools. So that's one of the things that we're going to have to really continue to monitor. Like our playgrounds are still closed and our Basketball courts and tennis courts and everything are still closed. The only thing that's on our property that people can actually use would be the Greenway Trail and the uh, the bike paths. So if someone asks, are we still closed? The answer is yes, till June 30th. I did see that they are making um, arrangements to meet with the High School Athletic Association as well as uh, the, the IDOE to talk about June. So want to keep everybody up to date on that. Uh, tonight, I want to also let you know that teachers, you're going to be getting a survey from Dr. Warland uh, with regard to at-home learning. And then how did it go for you? Any reflections? It won't take long to answer. We're going to release that next week. Um, so if you could just get that back sometime to us uh, in early June, that would be great. Um, and that way we'll be able to process information as we make decisions uh, for this coming fall. The CDC announced uh, several different guidelines for schools to think about opening. We're going to continue to review those and look at them, uh, and it's going to help us guide our journey for the fall. And, you know, it'll be great. Uh, we want to try to be back as much as possible and we want everybody to be safe. So we're going to be monitoring those, uh, looking at the best steps for Franklin schools. Uh, also tonight, I'd like to give a shout out to the Union Rambler School, um, Union Elementary, and their Teacher of the Year, Emily Erickson. So congratulations. And Support Staff of the Year, Kara Baker. You know, Kara's been on the front line uh, helping with this whole COVID-19 at, at JMH. And so we just want to say thank you to her and also to Emily for just an outstanding a teacher and being recognized by her colleagues. So we uh, we say congratulations and uh, job well done. Tomorrow I'm going to finish my uh, shout outs and teachers of the years and retirees of the year uh, with the middle school. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about the teacher of the year, which I think we all know uh, who that is, but also just uh, the middle school retirees as we move forward. And any other thing that's happening with regard to COVID-19. Uh, we're just two days away from ending the video cast. I want to thank everyone for watching these. Uh, it's been good for me to share information and, and kind of help me kind of process uh, the next steps for our district. So I really do appreciate everybody watching. Uh, we're a great team. You guys are great leaders. You're great teachers. As I said last night, you're well-deserving of the Indiana Teacher of the Year. Uh, and the support staff is also doing a phenomenal job uh, doing everything possible uh, to keep everybody safe, to keep us moving forward, and helping uh, flatten the curve. Well done, Franklin Schools. Hope everyone has a great night, and we will see you back here tomorrow. Thank you.